Hello and welcome to another video on prime factorization and in this video we're going to build on what we did in the last video in terms of breaking numbers down into the products of their prime factors but in this video we're going to go a step further and we're going to write our answers using something called index notation and I'll explain what that is in a moment. So the first thing to do is I want to break 100 down into the products of its prime factors. Now you may be wondering why I've written down 100 three times and the reason for that is because although there is only one way to write 100 as the product of its prime factors, there is more than one way of getting that answer. So I'm going to show you some different ways we can get our final answer. So first of all, 100. I can write 100 as 10 times 10. So I can rewrite 100 as 10 times 10. But then these are not prime numbers, so we can break them down further. And I know that 10 is 2 times 5. So I can write this as 2 times 5 times 2 times 5 and if we just put them in order we have 2 times 2 times 5 times 5 so I've written 100 as the product of its prime factors now we didn't have to start with 10 times 10 we could start with 2 times 50 so I know that 2 times 50 is also 100 2 is already prime but 50 we can break that down further so 50 I can break that down into 5 times 10 so 5 times 10, and we're not quite done because, again, we can break 10 down into 2 times 5. So this is 2 times 5 times 2 times 5, and if we put them in order, 2 times 2 times 5 times 5. And notice how our final answer is exactly the same as this one. We just got there in a different way. And just for kicks, let's do one more way. So how else can we get 100? Well, we can get, if we start off the same way here, 2 times 50, 2 times 50, but this time, instead of doing 5 times 10 to get 50, well, I can also do 2 times 25. So this is going to be 2 times 2 times 25. 2 times 25 is 50. And then I can break 25 down into 5 times 5. It's going to be 2 times 2 times 5 times 5. Now, you may already be aware that mathematicians are quite lazy, so there is a shorter way of writing this down, and we call it index notation. So, 2 times 2, well, we can rewrite 2 times 2 as 2 squared, or 2 to the power 2. 2 to the power 2 is the same as 2 squared. We're multiplying 2 by itself 2 times. So, 2 times 2 is 2 squared, and then we're going to multiply it by 5 times 5, which is 5 squared. So this is known as index notation. And the reason why we call it index notation is because these are called indices. So I'm going to give you some numbers to break down into the products of our prime factors, and I'd like you to express your answers using index notation. Okay, so pause the video and have a go at doing these ones here. Okay, so I'm assuming you've paused the video now and had a go. So I'm going to go through these now. And just remember, the way I go through it might be using a slightly different method to how you've done it. But the final answer should be the same. So 54. Well, 54 is the same as 9 times 6. So I can write 9 times 6. And then I can break both of these numbers down. 9 can be broken down into 3 times 3. And then 6 can be broken down into 2 times 3. So now let's write our answer using index notation. So I've only got one, two, and I'm multiplying by three, three times. So I can write three to the power of three, or three cubed. Okay, if we have a look at 220, well, 220 is 22 times 10. And again, you could have chosen 110 times two, or maybe you even chose a different um, set of factors. But 22, well, that is the same as 2 times 11, and then 10 is the same as 2 times 5. And I don't think we can break these down any further, so let's write it now We're using index notation. So we've got 2 times 2, which is the same as 2 squared, multiplied by 5, multiplied by 11. Okay, 98. So 98, uh, well, that is an even number, so I can definitely divide it by 2. So it's going to be 2 times 49, and 49 is 7 squared. So I can write this as 2 times 7 times 7. And then if we just clean this up, let's write it in index notation, 2 times 7 squared. And the last one is 96. Again, I'm going to use the fact that it's even, so it's a multiple of 2. 
So if 98 was 2 times 49, 96 is going to be 2 times 48. So 48 can be broken down, and there's lots of different ways we can break down 48. It's got a lot of factors. I'm going to choose 6 times 8. So 6 times 8. Uh, so 6 is the same as 2 times 3. And I know that 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 times 2. And we are done, but we just need to express this in index notation. So we've got a lot of 2s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 2s. So we can write that as 2 to the power 5 multiplied by 3. And we are done. So in the next video, we're going to apply our knowledge of prime factorization. And we can actually use that to calculate the highest common factor of two or more numbers. I'll see you in the next video.